Hi, and welcome to a new video on ImageR. Today we will talk about the differences in the algorithms on ImageR. I will prepare the same image with each algorithm, keep the same size, power and speed while engraving. Of course some results would look better if we adjust speed and power, but it is easy to compare the different files, if they all engraved with the same settings. If you like my tutorials I would be very happy about a like, comment or subscription. This motivates me to keep on going for these tutorial videos. But enough begging, let's go. First of all I will start with uploading the image on ImageR. After, I will crop the unnecessary area to save time while engraving. Next step is resize, I will use a width of 180mm in this case. The height calculates automatically, if keep in ratio is checked. For DPI I will use 254, since this is the correct resolution for my laser dot size. Now I will start from left to right and download the image on each algorithm. You don't have to start every time from the beginning, it works if you click after download again on material. ImageR removes the algorithm you chose before, and applies them the new one. It won't be double dithered. I will speed this process up, since it is always the same task. Great, I have saved now the image in every algorithm. Now I can start engraving it. At the end, I will show you of course the images in detail and tell you something about it. Baining algorithm. Baining creates an image that is very close to the original. The surface is even, no too sharp areas and no strange artifacts. CO2. The CO2 algorithm adjusts the gamma value in the image so that the color differences are as small as possible. This usually also makes the picture a little brighter. In addition, it sharpens the entire picture by a certain factor. CO22. The CO22 algorithm does not match the colors and keeps the original color intensity. This is why this algorithm is usually a bit darker than the CO2 algorithm. It also fills out darker areas nicely and evenly, and enhance only the edges of the objects, not the entire image. Old. The old algorithm sharpens the image extremely, what creates very beautiful details. The sharpness often creates a cartoon look, especially with people, for example. In addition, bright areas are usually lightened so that some of them are not engraved. Diode. The diode filter is very similar to baining and can also be used for CO2 machines. The biggest difference to baining is that it emphasizes certain details. Especially with this picture I like diode the most. Sketch. As the name suggests, the sketch algorithm converts your picture into a kind of pencil sketch. This looks incredibly good on buildings, cars, etc. And sometimes a bit too empty on people or animals with fur. I hope this video helped you guys to understand the differences between the algorithms better. In any case, it is worthwhile to test every algorithm once. You may come across completely new results. Thank you for watching the video. If the video was interesting, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. Bye.